Hey, what's up you guys? So I'm gonna show you guys how to revamp a curly synthetic wig. Um, this is my grandmother's old wig. She wanted me to revamp it, so I decided to make a tutorial out of it. I'm gonna take a little bit of castor oil and put just a little bit in my hands, rub that all over my hands, and I'm going to rub that all throughout the hair. Now, um, this wig was already previously washed. My grandmother said she tried to wash it, and um, so yeah, that's why I don't have to wash it. But you wanna run that all throughout the hair. Next, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna section off the hair, and you're going to clip it away so that way you can work in section by section because you are going to start detangling it. I am detangling with the paddle brush here in this clip, but you're gonna see soon that I will be switching to a dimming brush because it's just better for detangling, period. Um, you wanna start at the very ends of the hair and work your way up, making sure that you do not pull too tight because you don't want to rip the tracks out of the wig. You don't wanna rip too much of the hair out. You wanna make sure that you're taking your time detangling this wig. So yes, like you guys see, I am using the Demon brush to detangle. It just gets a lot better. It just is it's a lot easier to use a Demon brush when detangling versus a paddle brush. You want to also make sure that once you get done um, detangling the hair, you want to clip those sections out of the way so that you can move on to the next section. So here is pretty much the back pretty much detangled and I'm just running through it with a paddle brush um, just to get any extra knots out that might be in the wig and you just want to make sure that it's really really brushed out and detangled. So here is the wig when it's fully detangled. It actually looks very very natural. It looks really pretty but I'm pretty sure my grandmother doesn't want to wear something as fluffy as this. It kind of gives off Diana Ross vibes to me um, but yeah I thought it was really pretty. It looked very very natural but like I said I don't think my grandmother would want to wear something like this. <laughs> So you're gonna go ahead and take some rollers. Um, it depend, depending on how small your rollers are will depend on how small or how tight your curls are. Now, when it comes to rolling the hair, you want to roll one clockwise and the other counterclockwise. You never want to roll your wig into the same direction because once it is being pulled out, it will all go in the same direction and it won't be you know, it will all look like one big unison curl. So for every, you know, uh, roller I put in clockwise, I'm gonna put another one in counterclockwise. I hope that makes sense. And as you guys are gonna see, um, I used uh, flexi rods in the top because the back was a lot shorter and it would just been a waste of time to use flexi rods in the back. So I'm just using rollers. <laughs> So for the front, you're going to take your flexi rods and you're going to bend it in half and you're going to do the same thing in the back. Roll one side of the hair clockwise and the other part wrap it around counterclockwise. This is just going to be easier once you're taking the flexi rods out and it's just going to make everything a lot easier for you guys. So that was rolled clockwise and now we're going to roll the other part in the opposite direction. And you want to make sure that you're rolling your hair flat so it can give those spiral curls instead of like those one curls. Moving on to the shower, um, you can easily do this uh, with the mannequin head sitting right in the tub, but you're gonna take some boiling hot water and you're just gonna start drenching the hair and you wanna make sure that it's completely drenched and you wanna make sure that you're being careful because this is boiling water. Now, I don't have electric 
water we have gas water so that's why i'm able to just go straight to my bathroom and use that water because it's actually really scalding hot so you're just going to completely drench the hair and then you're going to let that sit overnight to dry So it is the next day and I am taking out of taking out the rollers and you want to make sure that you're being careful when taking out the back rollers because some water could get trapped in there and you don't want the water to get on the hair so you're just going to pour the water out so it doesn't you know touch the hair. And like I said, once you, um, you know, wrap one clockwise, the other counterclockwise, it's a lot easier for you just to take the flexi rods out. So now I put a little bit more castor oil on my fingers and I'm just going to separate all of the curls until I get the desired look that I want. So once I have the desired, you know, curls and how I want the wig to look, I am just going to go ahead and trim over the curls a little bit. If there are any like, you know, little fuzzy ends, I'm going to go ahead and clip them off. I also did go ahead and like shake the wig so that way the curls could be a little bit more loose and it looks a lot more fuller. You can also pull at the back of the you know wig to make sure that the curls are a little bit looser in the back and that's pretty much it you guys. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out a lot when you guys support my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!